Big business, what they do? They forked over a lot of cash to get the righties elected last year. All right, it's the way it is, but now it's payback time. Incoming House Oversight Committee Chairman Daryl Issa. This guy has taken his witch hunt against the Obama White House to a new level. Now get this. He is now asking oil companies, drug companies, business lobbyists for advice on what regulations, you know, to get rid of. What do you guys want me to do? I'll do whatever you want me to do. That's basically what he's saying. He sent big business, all his buddies, this letter. I ask for your assistance in identifying existing and proposed regulations that have negatively impacted job growth in your members' industry. Additionally, suggestions on reforming identified regulations the rule, and the rulemaking process would be appreciated. So not only tell me what you want me to go after, but tell me how you really want me to do it. It's called prostitution, political prostitution. He sent the letter to more than 150 trade associations, private companies, and think tanks. How do you want me to do my job? You know, why isn't Congress and ISA, why isn't he asking 15 million unemployed people in this country, what do you think about job training? What do you think we ought to do? Why isn't he asking 50 million people in this country without health insurance, what would you like the Congress to do? Do you really want us to go after this bill? Try to say it's unconstitutional? Maybe he should have asked them uh, if they really want to be spending billions of dollars in Afghanistan. When do we get to vote on that? Daryl Issa doesn't give a damn about people. It's very clear. He's all about himself. He just is going to go right to the power brokers of America, the big corporations, the big donors, the big contributors, and ask for direction. He openly does it. He wants to deregulate wherever he can to send the wealth straight to the top. For more, let's bring in Illinois Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. Congresswoman, good to have you with us tonight. Thanks, Ed. Happy New Year. You bet. Happy New Year to you. Um, he's asking for direction, going right to the big corporations, asking, okay, what do you want me to do? How do you take that as a representative? Well, you know, Daryl Issa has to know that this has nothing at all whatsoever to do with creating jobs, that the big corporations right now are sitting on a pile of money. They had record profits, and yet they failed to create jobs. And, and so the, the hypocrisy of this, and, and so what we really have to ask, does Daryl Issa want them to tell the, uh, the Congress that they want to go back to sweatshops so people are, are hurt and abused at? at work? Do they want the oil companies to be able to pollute our uh, Gulf of Mexico or anywhere they want without any kind of regulation or serve hamburgers to, to kids that, uh, that might kill them or pollute our air so that our kids get asthma? I mean, is, is this the kind of thing that Daryl Issa wants to go back to, the good old days where corporations ran roughshod over all, uh, all Americans and, and actually caused enormous damage to our our environment and to the health of, of, of Americans. It sounds yeah. that way. Congresswoman, to go on the offensive, how much more information do the Democrats need? I mean, it's very oh, I, clear how they're going to favor the corporations. It's, you know, uh, this is more than calling balls and strikes. This is just giving the game over to the people that want to run America. You know, you got to hand it to, to Leo Girard talking about uh, uh, about workers and what the real problem is, is in our country. And the fact is that right now, the, uh, the the wealthiest of Americans, the super rich, are calling the shots. Daryl Issa seems to like it that way. This is very dangerous for our economy when middle class people are falling behind, when jobs are not being created that actually give people a, a, a living wage. Um, it, th this is not good for even the, the biggest businesses who aren't going to have their customers in order to revive our economy right now. Um, and, and so we are heading in absolutely the wrong direction. And with Daryl Issa, it yeah. is full speed ahead. Asking the oil companies and the drug companies what they want him to do as far as regulations is really the fire ever was. I, I mean, I've never heard of a politician openly sending a, a letter out telling me how you want me to do my job. I'll do whatever you want me to do, and I'll you know, attack the, the, wherever you want me to attack. You know, this myth that what's good for business is good for America. Didn't we learn that at the uh, the, the crash exactly. of, of Wall Street, that they're not interested in the well-being of the uh, American people? And if there aren't rules of the road, if there aren't uh, regulations that at least moderate 
celebrate the greed that we've seen just exploding before yeah. us, then I think that our economy is going to go into the well, tank corporations again. corporations are all about profit. They must love these regulations that have been put in place because you've very profoundly stated what kind of money they're sitting on right now. Congresswoman, great to have you with us tonight. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you so much, Ed. Come